So in this session again uh, we will look at the looks block, the purple block. So here are two activities which I have created. One is hide and show. So what we've done in this is we've clicked on the rocket and it goes uh, we click on the the activity the rocket flies up and then disappears so why don't you just pause this video try the activity on your own and then come back to it then I'll just demonstrate to you how easy it is to create something like this these are just instances to show you that how show and disappear could help you like if you see this activity what we've done is the sun sets and the moon comes on the screen so when I play this you see that the boy disappears and the moon comes in though ideally I would want to make this screen also dark so we will gradually learn how to do that uh, how do you change the screen is when the pages start you know when the second page starts coming into picture that's where you can start working on so again you can pause the video and try these two and uh, once you've tried the options are very simple I select I just delete the cat I select a good background like this then I go to the objects I select rocket so there are lots of objects here so I click on rocket I place the rocket on the side so if you saw that the movement was upward so I click on the green block I go on upward movement so five steps upwards or and then go and look and select hide and don't forget to end your code once you click on play you see the rocket goes up and disappears if you wish to take it more higher probably you could do it this way also so that's it that was so simple so you got a rocket launching up and then disappearing in the skies similarly the same way you can try the same option on your own it'll be a good activity for you so if you see the code we have sun, we have got child, we've got the moon. So each of them has a different option here. So let's see. We will start a new project. <coughs> we delete the default cat. We take the background of beach. We insert sun. So if you saw that the motion of sun was that it gradually goes down and disappears. So we take the code here, the green flag. We give a downward movement of like what five steps. And then we go on looks and we give disappear option. Once I click on this, I click on play okay that's come two below so let's select three or you could just go on two and also what you could do is you could start a little bit on the top so that's the sun disappearing the next step was the boy so we just add the boy here and as soon as the sun disappeared what we did was we actually made sure that the boy also goes away so we follow the same steps of sun so suppose it was three so let's take four steps and we use hide so we hide the same we click on play so probably you could reduce it to three steps 
and finally we have to add moon here if you see if I click on this moon now moon actually when I when I try coding uh, the putting the blocks for moon or showing so I think what I need to do is first click on the moon so you have to really understand that the first default show of moon has to be that it has to be hidden so what I do is I will drag and drop the hidden option here I am in the moon section I will first hide it so I have hidden it I will throw off this object out now because my purpose of hiding it is done then I click on show and I connect to this block when I play now you see that's what happens right so later on probably I could show you one option now which can actually reduce the motion of moon so moon actually appears along with sun right now so what we could do is there is an option if you go on the orange block which gives you the weight option here a clock weight so let's see what happens when I use this default 10 here I reset it I click on the green screen here the green play button uh, flag and you see the moon actually comes after 10 you know uh, 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 10 scratch uh, blocks let's make it as 5 so that it doesn't take that much time and that's how it happens so just to explain you what's happening here is the code starts with the green flag it waits for 5 scratch size blocks it's not 5 seconds and then it makes the moon appear so make sure you don't forget that so if I click on moon again you could oh that's by default if I click on moon again or let's take a cloud for example and by default it appears it's, see, it's seen here it's in a scene mode right it's in a visible mode so if I want to have a default mode of this cloud as hidden so what I'll do is I sh will select the cloud I will go and look and I will select this down which is hide I click it once okay and then I'll perform the option of enabling it or showing it as I did it for the moon so if you see here every character has a different code and any code you want to change any kind of an action you want to change for each character you have to make sure you are clicked that character that's very important to do that so I hope it was clear for you we had more options of hide and show today so that concludes your session for uh, thank you for watching and